Welcome back. John used to love driving Ubers. Now he's too scared to get behind the wheel after a passenger's unprovoked attack. It was the Uber trip from Howl. I was thinking I'm going to die. It's the early hours of a Sunday morning and Uber driver John has just picked up two passengers from Melbourne's Noble Park. Can the seat on, please? What are you doing, Thank you. Things seem normal, perhaps a little unusual, as this man, only known as Adrian, pulls a $10 note out of his pocket. Just take it. Oh, sorry, thank you. Thank you. Can you too bad, uh, I'm not sure how to get it. Why not? Which one? Which station? Uh, just two pack music, YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. Do you want to connect the Bluetooth? John kindly pulls over to let Adrian hook up his music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, man, so Wait, turn right up. Driver John becomes increasingly uncomfortable as Adrian chugs down vodka. Not one gulp, not two, but at least seven during his trip. At one point, Adrian makes a gun gesture towards the driver's head, then hangs out the window. Suddenly, he jumps out of the back to get closer to John, staring him down and sticking out his tongue. Adrian refuses to wear a seatbelt, and by this stage, he's barely comprehensible. Give me a word. 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 The taunts only get worse. Can you kiss my cheek? I don't want to kiss you. <laughs> At their destination in Preston, Adrian's insistent on shaking John's hands. If you don't want to shake my hand, I'm going to, like, I'm going to chop you off my head. I call the cops. I call the cops. Call the cops, please. Thank you. Suddenly, this drunk passenger flies into a rage. They tussle as John struggles to break free. John tries to escape, but Adrian pulls him back into the car. I was taking blows on my head and I was feeling that I'm losing consciousness. Eventually, John makes a run for it as Adrian disappears into the night. He tried chasing me, but then he was too drunk to chase me. With such crystal clear images of the offender and credit card details provided to Uber, you'd think it'd be pretty easy to track him down. Think again. Well, then cops came back to me saying that they're not cooperating with us. Three months on, Adrian remains at large. Uber won't give police his information because it hasn't been served with a warrant. But police have reportedly told Uber they can't for minor common assaults. I think it's a moral duty of Uber to help the police and help me to find the culprit. We visited the pickup address where the resident called who he claimed to be Adrian. Do you remember attacking an Uber driver? What? Yeah. When? What? The fact that we have all these apps and platforms that contain an enormous amount of data is very beneficial for police because in 99% of cases, criminals will leave a digital trail behind. Susan McLean is a former police officer turned cyber safety crusader. Some companies do it very well in liaising with Australian law enforcement, some make it very difficult. When it comes to big business protecting the rights of criminals, it's something I have first-hand experience of. When my car and bank cards were stolen, the thieves treated themselves to an online shopping spree on American retailer Wish. But it refused to give police the thieves' postal address without a warrant, effectively blocking detectives from making an arrest. We have to get a warrant, it has to be converted to an international warrant and it has to be served, which is a time-consuming process, but it's also quite costly. So police do have to make a judgement call about the seriousness of what they're investigating. Uber's now banned Adrian from the platform, but John still struggles to get behind the wheel. It's been hard for the first two months. So then uh, I'm driving after two months. So for two months you didn't drive at all? Yeah. yeah. John's now jobless and says he'll never work for Uber again. I was in a situation where I almost was almost dead. 
uh, I don't think Uber would help help me out. So end of the day, it's not about money. It's all about helping out each other. Yeah, well said, poor John. Since we became involved, Uber's agreed to hand over Adrian's details to police.